This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit. I am on Lesson 7, Analog Input. Let's see. Reading the sound sensor. The sound sensor dot value block allows you to get the current sound sensor reading. Oh, that's cool. Do this. In this app, we've already added a text label with the ID sound value. Did they? Yep, right here. Okay. Using the sound sensor dot value block, display the value of the sound sensor. Okay. Sound sensor. That's a set property. Oh, I see. Tip. You can drag the set sound sensor value block directly into any other block where you could have the value, could type a value instead. So we want to set the property. And then what are we going to set our property to? In this app, we've already added a text label with the sound value using the sound sensor va sound sensor dot value block. Display the value of the sound sensor. So this way, instead of grabbing some information from our chip, we're using the chip's information it is gathering and changing the property with the what by the ID sound value to whatever number we get from this chip. So we're going to do the sound value is the ID we want. And what are we going to do? Well, we want to change its text value, which is just text. And what do we want to change it to? We want to use our circuit sound sensor. So when I hit run, what this code should do is it says, okay, set the property. And the computer says, what property? Sound value. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, here's an ID, sound value. Okay. Or, or va yep, sound value is the ID of value. Now, what do I want to set with it? Oh, the text. So I'm going to change the text. What's the text going to be equal to? Whatever the sound sensor is currently equal to from the Express chip. Let's give it a shot. Hello? Oh, does it only tell me at the moment? Hello? Ah, uh, I, I think it only tells you. Let's see. Reset. Ah, uh, yeah, it only does one reading right when you hit run. Cool. Let's keep uh, going.